So hello everybody, it's Joe Beauty 87 here and today we are going to do the If I Can Only Keep 10 Eyeshadow Palette Challenge. I was watching the Fancy Faces video and she was like calling out everybody who watched her video to like make this video or tell her down in the description box below like which palettes we would pick. But I'm so damn extra, I can't do 10. I know she thought she was extra. No, sis, I picked like 20 palettes. That's how extra I am. How about that? No, but um, so she said if you um send her the link that she would watch your video so i'm trying to debate if i want to send it or not i don't even know when i'm gonna like put this up so yeah but anyway i got like 20 palettes but in all fairness like i leave makeup at two other places besides where i live like i leave makeup at my boyfriend's house and i leave makeup at my grandma's house because y'all know i had to like i had to like go over there and stay with her for a while till she gets to the point where she couldn't stay by herself so that's why um i have makeup scattered everywhere but anyway, so I picked out like five for his house, like five for my grandma's house, and then the other ten that I would just keep, you know, personally at my house. Anyway, so let's get started. <laughs> um, I'm going to start with the super expensive stuff, like the, all the stuff you can buy at Sephora only type vibes. And then we're going to get into the more stuff like you can buy at Alton or Sephora, and it's like more affordable and cost effective, or it might be like an indie brand. I don't really have that much indie brand stuff, but anyway, like I said, let's get started because I got a lot of palettes to talk about. Um, okay, so my first palette is the Mothership One. Y'all know I am a cool tone girl at heart. I love cool tones. If you haven't seen the inside of this palette, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna open up all these palettes. Y'all know I talk too much, and it's gonna take a long enough time as it is to get through all of this. But um, this is the Mothership One. This is the one with the token like blue shadow on it. The very first one she came out with, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, I need this palette. So this one. I definitely would have to have because y'all know I need my blue shadow and I love my cool tone. So I usually like like to bring out this palette when I have a blue eye look going on. I'll do like a smoky crease or whatever and then I'll put like the blue on the lid. And this palette is amazing. It's awesome. It's sexy and you need it. Now this is the only Pat McGrath palette I do not have a review on. Every other Pat McGrath palette we're about to talk about has a review on it. So you can look at the review and see the pictures of the palette there and all that good stuff. Okay. The next palette I have is... Mothership 5. Now, I'm not really a um, warm tone type person, but when I do, like, I like the dual chrome in here, and I like the bright red shades in here. I think it looks gorgeous. I think she did a great job curating and picking the colors in this, because I don't really go for warm tone palettes, but I was like, I need this palette. So, she did a good job of, like, you know, sucking me in with it, and I think I got this on sale on her website when Sephora had a sale, and I think they had ran out of it, and I had to buy it from her, but anyway... It's a great palette. Y'all know Mother's formula is on point, and I definitely need that palette. Now, the last one I got, um, y'all kind of gave me a hard time in the review. I noticed I got like 50% on the review for this palette, even though 118 people watched it. I don't know what that's about, but whatever. Um, this is Divine Rose. Are you mad because you didn't get it, sis? Is that why I got a bad review? Because I got it, and you didn't. I don't know. But as y'all know, I love my cool mauve toned um, colors. And this is more of that vibe. Because I was going to pick the Huda Beauty New News. But then I remembered I had this one. I had it in the box because I actually had to do a review on this one. When I get done with this video on um, IGTV for you all. Along with one of the um, quads that we're about to get into. But yeah, this one is perfect. So this will give me my cool, this will give me my mauve romantic tones when I need them. The first one gives me my cool tones that I like. And then the fifth one gives me... Um, the warm tones when I occasionally want warm tones. Now, y'all know I had to have this in here. This is the Nocturnal Nirvana um, Blitz Squad. This is the one that has all the blue and green and purple shades in it. And we all know that's my aesthetic to a T. So, this was definitely going to be in here. Not to mention, you can use this with a regular palette and just make your eye look pop and bam, pizzazz. So, I would definitely need and have to have this. So, I made sure I put that in here. Like I said, I have reviews on all these Pat McGrath palettes except the very first one. So, you don't have to worry about if I didn't open it, just go watch the video, sis, or it's usually in the thumbnail, a picture, whatever it is. So, um, this is the Ritualistic Rose Quad. I'm actually gonna be using this with the Divine Rose palette in the IG video I'm gonna put up tonight. Now, y'all gonna see it tonight. I don't know when you're gonna see this video. We watch it right now, but you know, hmm. uh, but yeah, I definitely needed this quad. Now, this quad was the least exciting to me out of all the quads she came out with. Like this one, I was not feeling. She has like a brown one, I wasn't feeling either. The Nocturnal Nirvana is obviously my favorite one and the one I like the best, but this one is okay. Like, it's just okay though. The next palette I have is the Dark Mats. Now, um, the Fancy Face put this in her video too. I just absolutely love this palette. I love um 
cool tones as you know so this is definitely my aesthetic this side of the palette right here is what drew me in along with these greens at the bottom these at the top they're okay they're fine whatever but the majority of the palette i like is obviously the darker shades because it's dark mattes and i like dark cool tone things so I need this and to tie in with this one I have another palette that I would use that's like more of a topper type shade whatever but we'll get to that in a minute because that's with a whole nother brand I'm trying to get into these more expensive ones first like I have these two Natasha Denona palettes so I picked the gold palette and these are actually the only two big Natasha Denona palettes I own but this one just has this beautiful mustard shade and has a lot of like neutrally tones because a lot of the palettes I pick don't usually have neutrally tones in them so I figured I need one with neutral tones but I still like my um blues so it has a couple of blues but it's mainly neutral so i figured with the um nocturnal nirvana again i could use the blues in there or some blues in the other palettes you're about to see and tie me in with this and then if i needed some neutral shades i have the neutral shades in here along with um those other two palettes i just showed you from pat mcgrath now y'all know i love purple so i had to put in the lila palette now i wasn't as impressed with this palette as i thought i was going to be but since it is a purple palette, I don't think I have any other purple palettes in here from what I remember. A lot of them have pieces of purple in them, but I wanted like a solid purple palette, so that's why I picked this one. It has really nice purple shades in it. The mattes are really good. I wasn't that impressed with the shimmers though, but you know, I, I could make them work. I just had to probably wet the brush and apply a lot in order to get the type of pigmentation I like, because that's what I had to do when I initially reviewed this video. Again, I have reviews of both of those along with the dark mattes using it with um this milk cosmetic stack that i was talking about that i was going to put it with this is a shape shift stack i got um a whole bunch of negative um dislikes on this video when i did it but i mean like for what these are i do feel like it's kind of high but i mean since i own the pat mcgrath one clearly i can't say that this is too high because i think this is only like 48 and the pat mcgrath is like 65 so mm. but anyway the shape shift stack i would definitely have to have because it has a lot of those cool tone um shape shift and grungy um shadows that i would need to go with my um dark matter palette so that's why i included that one now i have the radioactive palette of course i would need this because y'all know i love my color and when summertime comes i would be all about this palette and then i can again use the nocturnal nirvana um with this or if i wanted to smoke it down a little bit i would use the shape shift palette but like this palette yes this is one of the colorful palettes i picked i got a couple other colorful palettes but they're more of the affordable or like any brands and i feel like melt is slowly becoming like you know a household name so i didn't want to necessarily put them in the indie brand category and they're close they're quite expensive that one's 48 this one is 48 as well but y'all knew this was gonna be here i actually just did a video on this today that you all will see tomorrow the smoke sessions palette i compared it to the chilled palette by um makeup revolution but y'all know this this is all me like this would just be my aesthetics for winter time and fall a nice smoky green blue eye situation yes definitely need it. and then the Merte palette y'all know the navies and in this palette and the grays like this whole side of the palette it just speaks to me the red side is okay too like i feel like you can make a nice little christmas look that you need to make the classic little red look that people make in christmas time you could use this side and pull that off so that's why i picked this palette so that way i wouldn't have to because i was going to pick um cheers to the beauty by um colored rain but i was like there's reds in this one and i would just use those reds and like pull the green out the pat mcgrath palette as like a topper or whatever if i felt the need to and call it a day so that's why i didn't grab that okay so we got some other stuff out here it's still somewhat expensive but it's not expensive as the other one y'all know auntie jackie's palette was gonna be in this video i don't know why you playing with me i love me some auntie jackie i love jackie Anna, and i feel like this palette was so underrated and didn't get its moment to shine i'm not saying that you know it didn't get a moment but i feel like the moment should have been longer but it was overshadowed by five million other things that ABH decided to release. But, you know, I still love Jackie's palette. This palette is everything. If you are my color, you need to have this palette in your life. I have a review, and I think I've done, like, a couple other looks. And I've done a couple looks on Instagram. I try to keep the hype alive on it because I love this palette. And I feel like it was underrated and didn't get what it deserved. So, it is definitely going to be in my top 20. Um, next, we have the Desi and Ketty Frankation palette. Um... I really love this palette. I really love the shape shifting shades in here mainly. Like I love Dirty Money and I love A Moment which is this one right here. The blue that turns into a purple shade situation. The red one is okay too. I don't like this topper shade right here that much and the black is just okay. But the majority of the shades in here I do like so it's okay. And I would go ahead and be fine with it because it has like um, classic everyday shades. But it still has like pops of color that you can use to have a moment if you will. 
Then I have the uh, Celestial Storm. I love this palette. This is by far my favorite palette Kirsten has made. I just think it's gorgeous because it gives you bright colors that you can use in the fall time that people wouldn't expect you to use. And you can still, you know, like have your warm tones. Like you have this little section for the warm, boring shades. And then you have these two for like if you want to do monochromatic. And then these two if you want to be monochromatic. And then these two. So it's like, for the most part, you can do monochromatic or you can do like a colorful, unique things without having to go too creative and outside the box. So I figured that's why this would be a good palette for my lazy days when I want to be colorful but I don't have to try too hard with being colorful. So that's why I picked Dead Izzy and Katie's palette and Kirsten's palette because they're good for that. Now we're going to move into the last five I have. And hint, one of these palettes is in y'all giveaway. Just a hint. I will tell you which one it is when we get to it. So I guess we'll start off with ColourPop and then we'll end what you know what no i'm just doing the colored rain one. so i have the colored rain um vivid pigments and shadows palette when this first came out it was hot it was popping everybody needed and wanted and had to have it i have a whole color series on this palette i think i had did like four or five videos but y'all didn't really care so i just stopped that series because i try to make series but i feel like no one cares and then i just you know get uninspired because you don't care and i stop but this has a lot of the colorful shades in it that i felt like the um radioactive palette by milk cosmetics did not have so that's why i went ahead and made sure i grabbed this and put it in my review. Next, I have a whole bunch of ColourPop palettes. So I just got the So Jaded palette, but I like a lot of the colors in here. So I figured I would include it in here. I think I've made like two or three looks with this palette. I want to say I made three because I did, my boyfriend had a party. I did one then. I did one for y'all here on YouTube last week, and I did one for y'all on Instagram. So yeah, I've done three looks with this palette. It's nice. Um, it has the ColourPop quality, which we all know and love. So that's why I went ahead and threw that in. Plus, I love using youtuber collabs and youtuber brands so i made sure i threw that in there um i have the perception palette by shayla i didn't say it once i'll say it a million times if i had to make a palette i would make this palette for the most part now i probably wouldn't have this color in here i would have traded it out with something else but otherwise like legit this color and probably this color right here because i don't like the fact that there's sparkle in it but it's a gorgeous color otherwise like yeah like this palette is everything this palette is gold like shayla did that and even though she did that last year i'm still using it this year how about that last wait no this is the second to last palette y'all know good sport is my baby is my 